another video. <laughs> what are you going to talk about? We got Mickle. We got Mickle? Yep. <laughs> we got Mickle and Dickle. And Dad. Yep. Okay, okay, so, hey, so, oh, oh, water spilling. If, y'all remember um, my last grocery haul, I shared that we are doing a grocery budget challenge. My goal is to stay between five and six hundred dollars for the month. Probably leaning toward, more towards six hundred. Um, at the end of my last groceries, I was right at like three hundred. Yes. So the kids are setting up the table for me. I'm kind of not feeling the best right now. So I'm sitting here and letting the kids work. <laughs> so we're gonna get it all set up. So we did a Walmart grocery pickup. If I have never told y'all before how thankful I am for Walmart grocery pickup, I am very thankful today. With me not feeling the greatest and I, there's just no way that I could have gone grocery shopping with nine kids. Um, so we picked up our order. It was 150. Okay, you don't have to undo that one. Okay, go finish the table. And save the bags. We need more bags. They're loud. Anyway, so picked up our order. It was $155. Huh? Yeah, you can start with pizza. Thank you. I'm going to leave this room. This is rather loud. Jackson, you're supposed to be helping. Story of my life. Anyways, it's been... Anyways. So, our total was $155 for just Walmart grocery pickup. I do plan on going to Sam's this weekend, so that means I need to stay at $150 to get us through the month, which would get us to $600. So, hopefully that happens. Um, things have been, t we have eaten out three times. Okay. Taylor, take that from her so that she doesn't bang them all around and bruise them, please. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, we have eaten out three times. We ordered pizza once and we went to Chick-fil-A twice because, again, I'm not feeling the greatest. So, I didn't buy a ton of convenience food last time because I was trying to stay low on our budget. As you will see in just a minute, I bought more convenience food because I need convenience in my life right now. <laughs> Hence, that Walmart was $155, but that's okay. Well, I did need diapers and, I mean, I needed a good bit of stuff. So, anyways. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, so today's grocery haul video is not going to be the most organized, but that's okay. So here, they started putting up stuff. So we needed more jelly. We were completely out. All right, you can put that back up, Jackson. Yeah, so we got eggs. Um, I'll just start here. Okay, here, that's garbage. We have a total of four loaves of bread. I got two things of egg noodles, and that just looked really good. So you got two? No, I only got one. Those are for me. I got two gallons of milk. Um, no. I got some chocolate. For me, I've got a total of four boxes of rice that we like to get. I got bananas, two things of butter cookies, two cantaloupes. All this you could start putting up. Um, so, as you'll see, I've got... Did you already put up the sauces and stuff? Oh, here's one. Huh? Okay. So, I bought two of these... And then I decided to get some crushed tomatoes and stuff to make my own sauce. I bought a spray bottle because for some reason these break like crazy in her house. I also got some yellow rice. I got one thing of spaghetti. I actually have another box already. Salad dressing for me. Um, here's green apples. Where did you put the... So, we do have peaches over there that got put up already. Um, huh? Oh, okay. Yep, there's cans in there. So, I got more laundry detergent. Well, that just got all banged up. So, we got pie crust. Yep, I got that. We got some more soap. Here's the other canned goods for tomato sauces and stuff that obviously didn't get out. More dishwasher detergent thingies. A green pepper and an onion for my homemade spaghetti sauce. Yep, I got pie crust. I got a thing of hash browns. We're going to do breakfast for dinner one night. I got one cucumber because I already have one in the fridge. Yep. And then some more coffee creamer. I got a thing of chicken broth because I'm all out and I know that I will need it for a recipe. Can you have a banana? Yeah, that's fine. 
looking at Gatorade. Okay, so I got two boxes of wheat thins. I got one thing of hash browns, again, for breakfast, for dinner. I and like those. So Taylor likes the hash brown patties. Yeah. And, and tater tots for tater tot casserole. Sweet potato fries for mama. And a horsey. And a horsey. And, what on earth? <laughs> that looked weird. Okay, so, and then Tostino's pizzas for an easy lunch. Not all of my kids like this, but... Uh, but Reagan does so. And then that's for mama. And then I got three things of store-bought refrigerated crust um, for homemade pizza tonight. Homemade-ish pizza <laughs> that the girls are making right now. Okay, so I have had homemade pizza on my meal plan for two weeks now and it hasn't happened because I haven't had the energy to make the dough. So I knew I needed an easy meal, so I decided to go ahead and buy the store-bought dough um, and just go with it. It really isn't that expensive, but you know, anyways, um, that's my life right now and that's okay. We are making it work and feeding these people. <laughs> so like I said, we're going to go to Sam's. I will update the whole totals because I know we went to Walmart two other times since my big like our shopping trip. So I need to add, I need to find those amounts and add that to my grocery challenge budget total. Y'all with me? <laughs> so at the end of this video, I will show you a tally of everything that we have spent so far. Okay, so we are back from Sam's. Um, we normally only go to Sam's once a month, but I didn't buy a ton last time trying to stay within this grocery challenge budget. Grocery budget challenge. I always say it wrong. Anyways, um... So we felt like we needed a few things from Sam, so that's what we did today. We actually spent $146. Um, I have some stuff set up in the schoolroom, some on the counter. We are having some bathroom remodeling done and I have about five workers in the house right now. So it's a little extra crazy. A little bit more than normal. <laughs> okay, so we actually got a lot of chips. They were on sale for like $2.99 a bag. So I told my husband to pick up several bags and I will put them up on the top shelf. <laughs> And kind of ration them out. Um, so I have been wanting to get some granola bars or something like that for me to eat first thing in the morning. Because it will just be quick and easy to shove down my throat whenever I'm feeling queasy whenever I first wake up. So um, we actually, the kids wanted, we got two different kinds. Um, so we got the Z bars. There's Peyton drawing at the table making something. And then we got the Nature Valley kind. And then um, mom's pregnancy craving saw this and I had to get that. <laughs> that just looks so good. Dark chocolate thins. Um, I hadn't seen those there before. A pack of tortillas. We actually blew through ours fast last time. My husband saw the little Smokies and the Crescent Rolls and wanted to get those for pigs in a blanket. And then we got a thing of pickles and then a thing of paper plates. Okay, so out here I have our fruits and vegetables set up. We got a pack of kiwis. We um, ate all the tomatoes. I actually didn't need to get lettuce because our neighbors blessed us with two huge bags that they had extra. Um, we got some blueberries, some lemons, and we all those apples that I just bought at Walmart are all gone. So we got more red apples, more green apples, a bag of carrots, and a huge bag of navel oranges because I have been loving oranges right now. Okay, and we also got another pack of toilet paper. I think we bought one in our last Sam's haul. I will have to go back. Hey, no, 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 no. I will actually have to go back, no, no, and look at my video, because I honestly, I'm pretty sure that we did, and we don't normally go through it that fast, but I'll have to look at that and check. Regardless, we need toilet paper, so. Yeah, be gentle. Um, so like I said, we spent $146. At Walmart, I spent $155. Um, so I am approaching being over budget, but I will go over all the numbers with y'all in just a minute and show you our meal plan. Hey. Look at my awesome husband cooking dinner over there for us. <laughs> so he's cooking while I'm talking to y'all about grocery budgets. <laughs> for what you did. Yes, for what I did. <laughs> <gasps> okay, so I just went over our numbers for the food that we bought this month. Um, I will flip the camera around and go over them with you all. Um, but my husband and I have been having this huge discussion. <laughs> so I set the goal of spending between five to $600, more than likely $600 for the month of January for our groceries. Um, and so I was telling him today because I knew it was getting pretty close. And he's like, but 
Are you including everything like toilet paper and you know, all that stuff? And I was like, well, yeah, like that's just how I do it is I just include everything. So he doesn't think that that counts because we don't eat that. So it's not a grocery budget. So I am agreeing with him because it's going to make me look better in just a minute. <laughs> but that's how I do things. I just keep everything together because I don't want to do two separate things because I need simple in my life. So anyways, I'm going to show you everything that we spent. So y'all tell me how you do your grocery budget. Do you keep it all together or do you do separate things for household stuff? Maybe that's what we should do is a separate allotment for household stuff. I don't know. Anyway, so he disagrees with my logic. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you what we spent. All right, so here is everything. So my last grocery haul video that I shared with y'all, we spent $100 at Walmart and $195 at Sam's. Um, between the two weeks of payday, we went to Walmart twice, which is, and spent $20 each, which is actually very, very, very good for us. <laughs> I am not including Miley's birthday party in this because that is separate. But if y'all really wanna know, I probably spent about $100, maybe close, I mean just over 100, between decorations and food for her party. So I don't really think that was too terribly bad. But naturally that did feed us and we did have some snacks left over from that. So that have already been eaten. Anyways, I ordered my first Misfits box and that was $17. Um, so then this payday we have gone grocery shopping and at Walmart I did a grocery pickup order and I spent $155. And at Sam's it was $146. So for a grand total of $653. But again, this is for everything. That was for diapers, wipes, toilet paper, paper plates, all all the stuff. Uh, so I think, uh, normally we probably spend, I think 800 to maybe $900. So I have not had to buy meat this month either. And we normally spend about 100 to $120 at the meat store, right babe? What do we spend at Fresh Fields? Yeah, 120 or so. Um, so that is where a lot of our savings is coming from. Okay, so technically I am $53 over but I still think it's doing pretty good for a family our size, a family of 11, for all the things. Um, I did just buy two boxes of diapers and that alone was, you know, $40, $45. So, anyways, um, I think I did pretty good, even though I went over my goal, but that's okay. Um, I did buy a little bit more convenience food this last grocery trip because I need convenience in my life right now. Um, to where the first Walmart order, I didn't do as much convenience stuff. Okay, so, because I, I like seeing, oh, Harper, I need the paper. Harper's stealing my meal plan, <laughs> not that it's fancy. So I really have enjoyed seeing other people's grocery hauls when they add the meal plan to it. Otherwise, you know, the, the food now becomes a meal. So I'm gonna show you my meal plan. It is not glorious. It has been colored over by a toddler, um, but it's all I got. And <laughs> I actually didn't even fill in all days because I know that there'll probably be a couple days that I'm not cooking with not feeling good. So the meals that I have planned are, let me show you. Yep, Harper's over here assisting me. Huh? <laughs> okay, so today is, what is today? Today is the 28th. So we are having chicken pot pie tonight for dinner. Tomorrow night I have planned Mexican lasagna. Wednesday will be Italian chicken. Thursday will be homemade pizza. I don't have anything for Friday or Saturday, um, which we're approaching, approaching February 1st. Um, so then the other two meals that I have the stuff on hand for are tater tots and tacos. So I do have, Harper, baby, please stop. I do have a pot roast still in our freezer. I might actually have two pot roasts. I know I have a pot roast, so I will write pot roast down for one of these days. Um, just so that I look like I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> so pot roast. Okay. Look at that dirty boy. Nothing like a dirty boy, huh? No, you probably need a shower, dude. Okay, and Harper got a hold of my meal plan. So, yeah, anyways. Okay, so that is our meal plan. Um, right now, I have a whole lot of flexibility and grace because I am still in my first trimester and I am not feeling that great. So I'm kind of taking the approach of more of just having a list of meals of the stuff that we have on hand because how I'm feeling, it, 
is gonna depend on what I'm doing and what I'm cooking that day. <laughs> so, like I said, we did go $53 over budget, but considering we're a family of 11 and that includes everything, I think we did pretty darn good. Now, I am sure that there will be a Walmart trip or two in the next two weeks, and if there is, I will update, or not if, when there is, I will update that information in my next grocery haul video, which will be in about two weeks. Um, because my husband's next paycheck would start a new month's budget. Okay. Does that make sense? So I was totally inspired by Megan over at Pennies and Salt. She did a phenomenal job on her grocery budget challenge. She spent $400 for a family of eight for the month of January. And she did an amazing job documenting it all. So be sure to check her out. I will put all her information in the description box below and I will pop a card up here for her as well. So. Remember to tell me in the comments below how you do your grocery budget. Do you include your household goods do you, or do you keep it separate? I'm really interested in how people are doing this because maybe I need to do it differently. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, let me know. I'm really kind of intrigued now. <laughs> so I hope that you all have a blessed day and we will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye. I forgot sugar. We'll be going to Walmart soon.